my head on my pillow Just staring out the window Trying to stop for a sign The reason why Greetings, good day. It's mad early on this, like it's hazy outside. That's what the weather people said. I finally made it to the post office where they've been holding my package for like dumb long, but I finally got it because usually around my neighborhood, it's like fine, nobody messes with your stuff, but people have been stealing. So while I was away, I had the post office hold my mail, asked them to re-deliver, they did not. So I finally made my way over here and luckily they had it. And now I can enjoy these clothes. I don't even know what I ordered, but I got them now. So now I'm gonna go home, make some breakfast, and, and I'm getting my hair done. <laughs>
gonna lie. Oh, you're yeah. first. I'm having a kid next year. And. Greetings. Good. Hi, lady. You enjoyed your food? Okay. Greetings. Good day. As you can see, it is Monday and I am still getting ready for the day, but I have a meeting to jump into. So, you know, we thank God that we can have our cameras off in 2023. So let me. Oh, I'm the first one here. Ain't that great? Hey, what's up, D? Hey, hey, Daniel. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Let's jump into it. Happy Monday, everybody. Only two weeks until Christmas, which is very exciting. I also have no idea where this year went, but here we are. Right. Um, all right, let's uh, let's kick things off with one thing you did this weekend and your favorite Christmas cookie. Diana, you want to get us started? Sure. What did I do this weekend? I feel the same way. That's what, I'm like really thinking about what I mean, I got my hair done. Um, nice. you know, I think that's always good to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Um, and favorite holiday cookie. I guess the classic, I feel like sugar cookies are very appropriate for holidays, but first instinct, I'm always like a chocolate chip girl, but that's all year. Uh, um, it is your favorite Christmas cookie. Gingerbread cookie. I like it. It's just I never. Uh, one thing I did this weekend was I took Owen to a um, Christmas model train thing. Oh. Where they, little motorized ice skater. Since like, he was losing his shit, he thought it was the coolest thing. <laughs> That's um, so cute. I, I think it might be. You make like a little cup in like a very tiny. You fill it with like this filling that's like molasses and then bake it thin mint thing that you like basically it's like a cheating thin mint where you get a rich cracker and dip it in chocolate uh, melted chocolate and then sprinkle crushed up candy cane on it and then put it in the fridge oh my god it's so good oh it's i that's genius i've never heard somebody do that before diana it is stupid easy to make <laughs> and it takes like 12 minutes <laughs> and they look so cool because you have like the the little can't the the can't the peppermint on it yeah yes exactly and then oh my god they're so good uh they're all i whenever i have to like bring something to a party grants and development we have the healthcare foundation report that's due this week which the report itself is done we're just waiting for porter right Dave? yeah i told her wednesday and she responded of course saying yep we'll do okay. like once porter sends me the numbers for the budget and i just like plug it into their like that same simple template that we used um i'll just check again but yeah i went to go like you know i'm like oh let me get a head start and just put everything and i could just upload the budget but i'm like the requirement thing last time i checked which was friday it wasn't open yet so yeah, yeah i'm not saying she did but there's a world in which she could have put it i definitely want to get that was on my list for this week to just get like to start pulling at least some like bullet points or something some language that we could start piecing, excuse me, piecing together and getting M's like input before Christmas, just so like we could step into the year with it. Like, let's I say like it mostly done or at least like a better direction of where we are going with the application thing. Yes, yeah. literally so stupid short. It's yeah, right. That's a right. Cause oh I God. kept scrolling. <laughs> Daniel, literally I kept scrolling and I was like that. That's it. Do we also want to start either Kirby or Hearst Foundation? Yeah. And we got several donations for Giving Tuesday. I don't know if we ever acknowledged that, but yes. Yeah. I, and whenever you sent me their names, I went and sent them thank you emails. Perfect. All right. I think that was it on my end. Did you have anything else, Dave? I don't think so. I think. All the reports besides self-care is done. Yeah, I don't think anything, I don't think there's any other pressing like deadlines, or at least not to that I can think of. I think we hit everything. And the only reason, all right, cool. Great, thanks, Dee. Yep. All right, now that I'm muted, I feel like my hair is not like set yet. I'm gonna take these out though. These out prematurely, because I think I'm gonna sculpt my 
eyebrows because they look good but i want them to be like Ooh. that also reminds me just random thought <clears throat> tatiana i'll put it together and just like send it to you so you can send it to like via email to our listserv but like just having a like end of year letter but i also think illustrating those accomplishment uh, accomplishments in the letter or like just a uh, you know just pointing out what we've done this year just as a like a quick little wrap up i say like a super mini not imp like not a angle not a I guess an impact report or like an impact one pager. I, th I think that's really important for us to like highlight and send out. I know there's been other communications and stuff to our donors, but I think putting it in a letter would, I guess, connect with what they're used to seeing from us as a donor aspect or connecting aspect for the end of the year. I think I definitely want to highlight like the the bill passing and policy advocacy because policy advocacy been kicking ass this year. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I think that's a good idea. Well, looking forward to next Monday. If you have not yet purchased your Secret Santa gift, be sure to do that because we're bringing those with us on Monday. And like I said, we'll have coffee and uh, breakfast for everybody. Great. All right. Thanks, team. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. That was that was quick. I mean, it wasn't it was a few of us missing, but that was mad quick. Close up my hair. All right, I look brighter. Like I look like I am whew, ready to take action today. Hey, hey, take, take action. Take, take. All right, what do I? What do I need to do? I need to make a to do list. That's what I need to do. I also need to have breakfast. Let me breathe. Let me breathe and take it one step at a time. No, I'm gonna do my devotional. Then I am going to make some breakfast. I don't know what I want for breakfast, but I went grocery shopping, so it's something in the fridge. And then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get started on some much needed things that I've been needing to get done for my clients, like just finishing up stuff. And I think I'm also gonna do some editing today because there's always editing to do, <laughs> always. But it's fun though. It's fun. So. Let's get this morning devotional started. As I was saying, I gotta be much more. Hi, baby. I'm I'm going downstairs to make breakfast. Is that okay? You was just looking out the window ever so calmly. You stay. You go relax. You ate. I didn't eat yet. Okay. She's probably gonna follow me down anyway. Let me turn on this light. Yep. That'll do it. Hi, baby. You say hi. You gonna follow mommy downstairs so I can make breakfast? Okay. Let's go make mommy breakfast. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but as I was saying, I need to be much more intentional with my time with God. I've been slacking. But I've also been on the move, like OD, so just my whole schedule and everything has just been overwhelming. But what do I want to eat for breakfast though? Uh, I don't know. What I got? Let's see. Oh, I got some waffles. Oh, I got those little mini pancakes that I got from Trader Joe's. They're dumb good. I don't know if I want that though. I could just do something as simple as like a bagel. Oh, let me use these. Yeah, Trader Joe's, they have like bagels that they make fresh daily, which are great. However, you got to eat them mad fast, but they only sell them in packs of three. So I appreciate that. But let's see if this bagel is mad hard or not. I only had the bagel for like a few. I only had the bagel for like three days. Well, I'm not having a bagel for breakfast, so back to the drawing board. Lady, you're being very uh. What is going on? Where are you go, lady? Lady, where you just go? I was just talking to you, girl. Y'all see how, how, like, every time I pull out a camera, she'd just be like, she don't want to be down. Like, what do, what do you got? That's, that's what you thought? Me give you a little attention meant to go get a toy? Is that all I am to you, lady? 
a, a player. Ah, I don't want to be a player no more, lady. I am going to. Oh, it probably look like it's done already. <laughs> but I am going to run around the corner to this bagel shop, Bagel and Co. Pretty sure that's what they call. I, as I said, I have food here, but like, I already got my heart set on a bagel, and those are the only bagels I have, and they're obviously bad. I can't. I just like, what's today? Today's Monday. I went to Trader Joe's on Thursday. Yeah, it's been. It's been three days, four days, three, three and some change. So I am going to finish taking these out. I am going to run around the corner to get a bagel. They bagels are dumb good. They got this French toast bagel. I know they know me by now and that I'm most likely going to order that. But that French toast bagel slaps every time, okay? One thing I don't have, I'm going to just trust that I look okay. The one thing I do not have in my living room, or I would say just down in the downstairs area, is a mirror. So I just be winging it and hoping for the best, but the hair feels good. So I'm gonna hope that it look good. But let's go get me some breakfast, finally. Bagel and Co. Just remembering the name, Bagel and Co. They got a few of them in Philly, but the fact that this one just so happened to randomly be open by me, and I'm a sucker for bagels and coffee, so we love that. I think I'm gonna still make my coffee at home though. So I have a oat milk creamer, which like, you know, you gotta use within a week. So I don't want any of it to go to waste because it's so good. So I'm gonna stick to making coffee at home. Bagels and co right there. Oh, let's wait for the car. No, I don't like me. What happened? What do you need, lady? You have to tell me. Okay, okay, okay. We have to slow lean back like that. Oh, okay. I need to start bringing my tripod around the house, but it's I. I always find a space for my phone. Greetings, good day. As y'all can see, I am taking out my hair. Um, pretty slow Wednesday. I got mad stuff done on Monday. As you saw, I was getting my life together on a call. And yesterday was another day of catch up. A lot of, I don't know. I just got a lot of shit to do. But like I said, today is a much slower day. Just finished like my morning devotional, like took a shower, skincare routine, you know, all that good adulting before starting your day um i am i don't know what i want for breakfast i have it's not that i don't have groceries but like i always struggle to like figure out what it is that i would like to eat maybe i'll go to the little cafe by me oh maybe i'll get food and sit in there i might do that get some like fresh air because literally the only fresh air that i get is when i walk my dog i would like to just get to that better habit of going outside but it's also been dumb cold i don't know where y'all residing but as y'all know i'm in philly and it's winter like I know the solst the winter solstice hasn't like technically started yet, you know, in the calendars, but Shorty been having her bubble on and the hat with the little puffer. 
but I think I'm gonna just run outside. The cafe is literally right around the corner from me, so it's not like I'm traveling far. Um, yeah, let me let me get dressed and go start the productive part of my day. Actually, no correction, because my devotional and everything is always very productive and gets my gets my like blood flowing in, like just my brain activated. So I guess starting I guess a different realm of productivity where I'm not focusing on my mind and spirit, but I am focusing on work. Oh, I had to come back. I just looked at my hair in the mirror. It looked cute. Shout out to my girl, Sierra. If y'all ever in Philly and need somebody to do your yeah, hair, book her. My hair probably looks really good against this green too. I feel like Poison Ivy or Jean Grey. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna be Jean Grey today. Call me Jean from Harlem. All right, so let's go to the little cafe. Wait, hold on holiday. We can't leave out of here without smelling good. I mean, I washed obviously, but this right here, my favorite. I wonder how much I've used of it already. I can't tell. That's the only thing you can't see inside these bottles, but all right, now I'm ready to go out. Like for real, for real. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I just wanted to catch my hair in the sun. I think the sun makes a huge difference. Mama, hi. You mad at me for leaving? Lady, be excited. Hi, hi, baby. Greetings, good day. Um, as y'all can see, I went to Barnes and Nobles today and I didn't get all of these. I, I didn't get all of these, but I did, I had, some, I had some rewards. So I went to, I went to get a few books to utilize the rewards. And this got me in the mood to wanting to get my TBR list for 2024, at least Q1 like organized i never like took the time to build my tbr list i kind of just like go on my shelf and like whatever i'm gravitated towards i pick up but this time i want to take the time to care about my like selections and read in some type of order with some type of intentions i'm not going to show y'all what i got now you're going to have to watch the video i post mm -hmm. but we about to be lit I'm gonna have physical options, obviously. And I will also be providing things that you can find on Libby, like in the library, whatever library that you have. Libby, if you don't have that app, I'll download it right now, right now. And also for Kindle Unlimited, as you guys see, I take my Kindle everywhere with me. So sometimes if I can't find the physical form of a book, I will find it on Kindle. And a lot of the times it'd be for free, which is even better and Libby you can send whatever books that you borrow from your library to your Kindle if you ain't know now you know so I'm about to finish organizing these and stay tuned for what I'm about to read in 2024 <laughs> Greetings, good day. I feel like it's so early. I feel like it's so early that you gotta whisper, even though nobody else is here. But anyway, I am refilling my Brita, cause you know, girl gotta stay hydrated. And I am about to start my typical routine. But as y'all always know, I 
try to start every day i've been doing well for the past few days because as i told y'all i fell off for like two weeks with traveling and birthdays and stuff but we back in action but i always try to do my meditation and my yoga every single morning and i've also added stretching to the routine if you guys peeped from my last video like yoga yes it's good for mobility mobility and flexibility but sometimes i need like deeper stretches like yoga is my exercise we're like yeah we being stretch stretchy or whatever but it is more so as i said like i'm burning calories and building muscle and strength and such so i've been adding just like an extra 10 minutes afterwards to just stretch and loosen my muscles up because they be fighting for their life so yeah let's go meditate and if you aren't a person who meditates or practices yoga, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. We could go deeper another day, but let me get to it before I go back to the end. Honestly, the hardest thing about meditating is getting up. I'm like, you're allowed to sit however feels comfortable. And this for me is comfortable. Sometimes my legs be falling asleep and I get stuck in this uh, pretzel. Or uh, it feels like a pretzel. I feel like a pretzel. But yeah, getting your stance right whew, and then getting out of it, I'd say is the hardest part. Yeah. Yoga time. Ooh and take a moment to let go of whatever came before this and whatever is coming after this. This is your time. I remember my mom getting his name from the hospital and her being in her bassinet. Um, and I wasn't able to get a fucking picture. 